It's been 10 months since we were taken aboard the HMS Albatross. Captain Edwards has told us that our work is progressing, and it's only a matter of time before our voyage comes to an end. We've been hunting a giant sea creature of unknown origin that we have seen on satellite images. The giant creature could be a long-lost dinosaur or something even more mysterious. Although I am excited to find this creature so that we can return to the surface, I cannot help but feel a little frightened voyaging into unknown waters. Engineer Riviera? Yes, sir. We need all hands on the bridge. We're going through some stormy waters, and for our safety, all crew should be close by. Yes, sir. On my way. Can we get a look at what's outside? Yes, sir. We're traveling over a large underwater valley, which is sending out a lot of heat and energy. Viewing it from this distance, I can't see what's in the valley. Should we send out the research robot to find out what's going on? Will we be able to control the robot under these conditions? It shouldn't be a problem, sir. The robot is equipped to handle rough conditions. Good. Yes, send it out. Also prepare the mini-sub and diving suits. Robot released. It should begin to transmit video in a moment. Huh? What's that? Yes, does anyone know? It's an underwater volcano and hydrothermal vents. Can we get a closer look? Ew, what are those things? Those are red-tipped tube worms. Are those crabs? White crabs, yes. Hydrothermal vents are brimming with life. How can anything live down here? The system reads that the temperature is nearly 350 degrees Celsius. Right. Actually, these creatures are often called extremophiles because they can live in such a harsh environment. They survive thanks to a process called chemosynthesis. Basically, they can convert the chemicals coming out of the vents into energy. Wow, so even with the immense pressure and lack of sunlight, these animals can survive? That's right. The research robot has been hit by something. Something big. Zoom back out. I want to see the robot's surroundings. Yes, sir. Hmm, I don't see anything. Wait, there's a sound. Let me turn up the speakers. Can you hear it? No. Listen. What was that? Replay the video. Yes, sir. Pause it. Science officer? Uh, yes, sir? Can you explain what that thing is? Um, it might be a giant squid or a rare species of shark. Uh, guys, that sound! Can you hear it? Oh! Ah! Ah! What's going on? What's happening? Hey, hey, wake up! Leave him alone, Farah. He looks so happy. And he said he was pretty tired. He's so loud, though. I can't hear the movie. Let me see if I can fix it. Voila! It's been 10 months since we were taken aboard the HMS Albatross. The research robot has been hit by something. Something big. Viewing it from this distance, I can't see what's in the valley. Should we send out the research robot to find out what's going on? Will we be able to control the robot under these conditions? It shouldn't be a problem, sir. The robot is equipped to handle rough conditions. Um, it might be a giant squid. <laughs>